Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In this video, I have a ton of emulation news to go over. We're talking about PlayStation 5, PlayStation 2, Nintendo Switch, Sega Dreamcast, Reset Collection, and more. Let's get started. All right, we'll kick things off here talking about PlayStation 2 emulation on PC with PCSX2. We've got a brand new update and with that update we've got some improvements. So as of version 1.7.3095 we have some improvements to the hardware renderer and the result is pretty fantastic. Here's a quick peek at Final Fantasy X before and after. If we take a look at the tree we can see before there was a line through it and afterwards the graphical issue has been fixed. Here's the before and after and I might butcher this one but Bakusu Dekotora Densetsu. You can now see the track. And for Trapped, this one is a little bit dark, but it looks like the ground is now rendering properly. And on top of all of that, thanks to a fix from Goatman13, you can now play Samurai Legend or Blade Master with no patches and no graphical errors. Let me know if you're excited about these games in the comments below. To pick up the latest and possibly greatest version of PCSX2, head over to PCSX2.net, click on Download, scroll past the stable releases, and then pick up a nightly build. You can see here the latest version is 1.7.3101 at the time of filming. And just a friendly heads up, with these nightly releases, you may experience a bug here and there. They are considered experimental versions. It's not the stable release, and they are very active in terms of development. In fact, the version we just talked about that was shown on Twitter, there was version 3095, and we're already up to 3101. They've also improved some upscaling. Next up here, we're talking about PlayStation 5 emulation. Yes, a PS5 emulator exists. Yes, we've talked about it in previous videos. And yes, there have been some improvements. The emulator is called KYTY, which is pronounced subscribe to Mr. Sujano, or Kitty, depending on how you want to read that. It is on GitHub and I'll leave a link in the description below. Now the latest release of this is version 0.1.0 and you can check this out on your own. It's a PS4 and PS5 emulator, but you're not gonna get too far if you're trying to emulate PS5. I mean, this emulator is currently in extremely early stages of development. It's gonna be a while before you can boot and play PS5 games on it, but it is being actively developed. We can see here just a few days ago, there's a brand new commit for PS5 graphics. Now I know this really isn't a whole lot to go on but at the same time here it's worth pointing out and worth discussing because emulating the ps5 is well it's pretty darn cool and speaking about pretty darn cool next up here we're talking about reset collection an emulation front end on android that's about to get an update i would argue this new version of reset collection is a pretty big update it gets a new user interface top layer it gets new launcher support which is huge if you have a retro handheld like the ayn odin it has an Android app launcher built in so you can see all of your apps. Search function shows the game name, title, and box art while you're searching. And grid view is even better. On top of that, they've added in ROM launching support for Citra MMJ. They've added in Dolphin for handheld if you're using this on a Retroid Pocket 2 Plus. And they've added in the RetroArch Core PUAE, which is for the Amiga. And as with most releases, there are also some bug fixes. For example, Master Gear and VGBA Next now work on Android 11 Plus. I did a review of Reset Collection a couple of years back, and it's a fun little launcher. And for those of you wondering, yes, Aether SX2 works with Reset Collection. You can boot right into game. Next up here, this is a quick one. We're talking about Sega Dreamcast emulator Washington, D.C. Washington DC is free, it's open source, and it's available for both Windows and Linux. Now, Washington DC was abandoned back in 2020 due to some life-threatening health issues for the main developer, Snickerbockers. Now, we've previously talked about the return of Snickerbockers, but now it's official. Snickerbockers is back, and Washington DC has been unabandoned. However, not everything is all sunshine and rainbows. The last few years have been incredibly rough on Snickerbockers and progress in Washington DC might not be as fast as it used to be. On top of that, Snickerbockers is not out of the woods just yet. They still have cancer and they're going in for another surgery next week. So Snickerbockers, if you are watching this one, I want to wish you the best of luck and we are behind you on this. Take your time, don't stress yourself. The community will always be here for you. Next up here, we're talking about the crazy free-to-play crossover platform fighter Multiverses. 
Now, Multiverses is under a little bit of heat lately, considering it is free to play, but there are paid elements in it. And if you added up every single paid element and wanted to buy everything, it'll set you back approximately $255. Yes, you can grind and get some of that for free, but apparently some you can't. You have to shell out. Now, I'm not going to lie here. The game looks completely wacky and a heck of a lot of fun and something I am definitely going to check out. But I'm a little hesitant about spending any money on it. I'm hoping it's just cosmetics and... That's really about it. And if it's just cosmetics, well, I can get away with not spending really anything. And talking about not spending anything, last up here we've got Nintendo no longer allowing people to buy stuff off the Wii U and 3DS eShop after March 27th of next year. Now, as of May 23rd of this year, just a few months ago, Nintendo made it no longer possible to use your credit card to add funds to your Wii U or 3DS eShop accounts. As of August 29th, so just in about a month, It'll be no longer possible to use a Nintendo eShop card to add funds to your 3DS or Wii U accounts. So if you've got one, you might want to use it. You can redeem download codes though until March 27th. So it's now official. As of March 27th, 2023, the Nintendo 3DS and Wii U eShops are effectively closed. You can no longer make purchases. You can no longer download free content or game demos. Unfortunately, the writing for this has kind of been on the wall for a while now. It's just really sad that it's finally happening. I guess it's a good thing we've got game preservation because, well, this kind of sucks. But anyways, that is all I've got for you in this one. Straight to the point, all stuff and no fluff. Let me know your thoughts about anything we talked about today in the comments below, and we did talk about quite a bit. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos. Don't tempt fate, save your state.